Your eyes help you understand your world. But do you know how your eyes work? Let's see. Hi, Dr. Bodily. Hi, Elias. Have a seat. Let's check your eyes. Look through here and tell me what you see. Hi. Want to learn more about your eyes and how you see? Seriously, do you want to learn more about your eyes? Okay. An eye is about the size and shape of a ping pong ball. Its tough outer layer is called the sclera. That's the white part of your eye. On the front of your eye is the cornea. When you look at something, light bounces off the image and travels through the cornea and then through the round black hole in the center of your eye or the pupil. A muscle in the iris or the colored part of your eye opens and closes the pupil. When it's dark, your pupil opens up to allow in more light, and when it's bright, the pupil closes up. Behind the pupil is the lens. Light travels through the lenses and a clear jelly-like substance called the vitreous humor and focus the image of what you're looking at on the back of the eye or the retina. The retina has millions of light-sensitive nerve cells called rods and cones. Rods pick up the black and white and shades of gray. They also help you see in low light. Cones pick up colors and bright lights. All the different parts of your eyes work together to help you see everything around you. Wow, that's really cool. Did you know that when you look at something, the image goes into your brain upside down and backwards? No. The image goes through the optic nerve behind the retina to your brain, and then your brain turns it right side up. Muscles attached to the eyeball move it around so you can see in different directions. Other parts of your face are there to protect your vision. Your eyebrows stop sweat from dripping into eyes. Your eyelashes stop things from brushing up against the cornea, and eyelids are like windshield wipers. Every time you blink, tears sweep across the surface of your eyes to keep them moist and clean. You blink about 30 times a minute, and you don't even think about it. If you have all of those protections, why do you need to see the eye doctor? Well, your eyebrows, eyelashes, and eyelids protect your eyes from things coming from the outside. But vision problems are sometimes the result of the way your eye is shaped. The lenses or the cornea may be too curved or too flat. Your eyes may be too long or too short from front to back. When that happens, part of the image may be out of focus or blurry. If you can see things close up but not far away, you're nearsighted. If you can see things far away but not close in, you're farsighted. People can wear glasses or contacts or in some cases have surgery on their eyes to correct their vision. So seeing your eye doctor and taking care of your eyes is very important. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, you bet. All right, Joan. You need to get out of there. Sorry. Okay, can you read the bottom line? If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org.